Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going over some things that can potentially change following the release of the Arizona 2020 election audit. So with that said, uh, first slide I have here is number one, you'll get an audit, you'll get an audit, and everybody will get an audit. What I mean by this is after the Arizona audit, which has officially been out, and it came out on Friday, I believe, we'll probably get to upload this video on Monday, um, there will be more audits in several of the key swing states in the 2020 and 2024 election. These states are really pivotal and will decide the future of our elections in our country. So it's more likely than not we'll see more audits happen in these places. Some of these states may be Georgia, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Florida, Texas, North Carolina, Nevada, and New Hampshire, just to name a few with potentially more audits in places like Colorado, New Mexico, Virginia, uh, maybe Maine, maybe Oregon, but that's pretty much it. It's definitely more the states that will be more competitive, I would say. And this will also, in all likelihood, play a big conversation into 2022. Option number two. More election laws will get passed after, or get passed to limit potential voter fraud for future elections. So, things like drop boxes, mail-in voting, post-election day ballots, what do you do with them, voter ID, and other security measures may be signed into law and enacted in states to try to prevent voter fraud from happening in 2022 or 2024. I'm not saying this will work, or I'm not saying my opinion on it, I'm just stating a fact that I could see these audits, I could see laws being passed because of these audits to try to prevent a situation like this happening again. This could also lead to a more gerrymandered looking 2022 House of Representatives maps as well for the next, I think for the next 10 years, I believe is how they do it. Number three, the media refuses to cover and debunks all evidence, quote unquote, of voter fraud. This I think I'm like most, um, what's it called, most sure about. No matter what comes out in the next few months or few years, the mainstream media will continue to cover the voter fraud and election audits as baseless and a claim made by President Trump and President Trump's voters. And the media will also assert, I spelled assert wrong, wow that's sad, that, and they'll debunk any findings made in any of the audits. This is not much of a surprise. I mean, the Arizona audit just came out, and again, I'm not giving you my opinion or other people's opinions, that's not the whole point of the video, but... The media, before the report came out, already said this is good for President Biden. Now, I'm not saying that that's true. I'm not saying that's not true. I'm just saying the media likes to play the attention grabber. So when there's an audit coming out, the media is going to try to get ahead of it and say, oh, this looks really good for the Democrats and really bad for President Trump. Why? Because that will get the most views and the biggest ratings. And the media knows that. So from that basis alone, it's going to kind of brush these findings aside, but still use the big headlines to keep it relevant. I mean, that's just pretty standard business media stuff. Number four, nothing actually changes, and we go on to 2022 slash 2024. I don't know if this is hey, the most likely option, but it's certainly one that's pretty probable if you ask me. At the end of the day, governors and secretary of states like Brian Kemp in Georgia and Brad Raffensperger in Georgia listen to what President Trump says at his rallies and news conferences and stuff, and they pretty much just say, yeah, that's all a bunch of, like, BS. We're not going to listen. We're not going to change anything. Like, none of this is proven. We're just going to keep going. And President Trump is going to return and say, no, you're a rhino for not supporting me, and this will lead to more competitive primaries in 2022 and 2024 that could continue to, I don't want to say split, but at least drive kind of fractured the Republican Party in terms of where voters stand and where politicians stand. And if this does happen and the audits don't happen, I would expect in every election in 2022 and 2024, this talk of election fraud and there needs to be audits and changes to our elections is going to keep happening in every single election if this is the route it goes. I'm almost certain of that. And number five, I take it back, this is 100% the most likely option. Uh, President Trump uses fraud as a campaign message going into 2024. I mean, this, the worst kept secret in the world right now is that Donald Trump is going to run in 2024 again. I mean, he keeps saying he hasn't announced, but he keeps saying, I have no choice. I mean, you're going to like what I have to say. I mean, 
Donald Trump's going to run again. And you can bet until the 2024 election happens, maybe even after, Donald Trump is going to keep saying election fraud happened in 2020. The election was stolen from me. I'm going to have to run in 2024 and win for a third time. And that's going to be one of his campaign messages, no doubt. But yeah, this is going to continue into 2022 and 2024. Trump will run again. Uh, make absolute sure of that. And that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like the video if you liked it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. If you're a returning subscriber of mine, thank you so much for coming back. And uh, yeah, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.